What's up guys? Uh, in this video, we're going to go over candela versus lumens. And to help demonstrate that, I brought something with a crap load of candela and a crap load of lumens. So like I said, uh, candela versus lumens, this uh, Streamlight Survivor, this has uh, like 41,000 um, candela and only 175 lumens. The Surefire M600 DF has 1,500 lumens, but only 12,800 candela. So you're probably asking, you know, what is the difference between lumens and candela? To be as unscientific as possible, candela refers to like the intensity of the light, how focused like the light is in one particular beam, kind of. Lumens is, uh, to me anyway, kind of refers to the overall brightness of the light, um, referring to everything. Because we'll show you in a second, the beam pattern, this 175 lumens uh, doesn't, you know, hold a candle, huh, pun intended, doesn't hold a candle to 1500 lumens coming out of the Surefire. But the way the lens right here focuses all those lumens into uh, a tight spot, tight beam pattern, you get a lot more uh, intense um, spot, a brighter spot. And so you get 41,000 candela. This light, on the other hand, takes all that 1,500 lumens. It takes a makes a broad um, hot spot and sheds a lot of the other light out around. So it'll illuminate like a half a room or an entire room if you shine it in it, shine the light in it. But it's not going to have that tight, um, you know, 41,000 candela hot spot it's only going to have like a 12 or 13,000 candela hot spot all right so now you're probably asking well which one should i use for which uh which task which job well um this light right here is designed to go on a turnout coat for firefighters uh, it's designed to cut through smoke it has a really tight beam pattern it'll shoot like three or four hundred yards uh, yeah you're probably not going to need three or four hundred yards to shoot through smoke but that's just a byproduct of having that intense um, hot hot spot. Um, you might need it to shoot, you know, a few hundred yards if you're doing like a search or something. You're looking for a crash victim that came out of a car, or you're searching for a power line down in, the, in you know in the woods or something like that. On the other hand, for a weapon-mounted light, the Surefire M600 Scout um, has 1,500 lumens, and you know that's you're not trying to cut through heavy smoke. With this light, you're trying to illuminate an area so you can positively ID a target or threat, whatever you want to call it. So that's why they have different um, candela, different lumens, different beam patterns. They're meant to do two different things. There are some uh, weapon-mounted lights, or you can get different heads for these from uh, Mod Light. I think that you can get like 60,000 candela, and I think it drops it down to like 600 lumens. But anyway... You can bump that candela way up and you get a really tight beam that'll go, you know, three, 400 yards. Say if you had a magnified optic and that that's what your main task for the rifle was, you needed to PID something 400 yards away. To me, I don't see that as, as important as being able to light up an immediate area, especially for self-defense. This rifle has a red dot on it. It's not magnified. So, it better suits me to light up a completely illuminate an immediate area than to, um, you know, have the beam go 300 yards and not get any kind of, uh, like call it spill, any kind of uh, light spill to the sides. Cause that's what you're going to give up when you get this super tight beam, you're going to give up your spill and your peripheral illumination. All right. So let me get the camera set up. Um, a little different we're going to cut the lights out i'm going to show you what these beam patterns look like all right guys we got the camera moved around a little bit uh pointing at that white ish wall in the corner right there and this is what it looks like with the lights on and now the lights are off the camera doesn't pick up hardly any light because there isn't any all right so first up we're going to go with the streamlight survivor you can see how tight and how bright that hot spot is not a whole lot of spill you can tell as i'm moving around the room you're not really getting a whole lot of peripheral you're just getting that tight, super tight hot spot. On the other hand, let's get the uh, Surefire Scout. There we go. 
You see it's still got pretty tight hot spot, but look at the difference when I move it around the room. You're not getting uh, as harsh of shadows on the other objects in the peripherals. You're getting a lot more spill. If I shine it at the roof, or the ceiling rather, you can see just how much spill you're getting compared to the streamlight. All right guys, uh, we're outside the gym. It's super windy and there's cars going by, so hopefully you'll be able to hear a little bit. Um, it's super dark. There is uh, a little bit of security light, or I think it's off a billboard. You can see kind of the gravel um, right there. But anyway, there's uh, some shrubs or like uh, grass, tall grass. Um, a little ways down the, down the road there, a little gravel road. So first, that's the survivor. You can see how bright that is. Um, that's maybe 75, 100 yards away down there, this corner of the building. You can see how tight that hot spot and lack of peripheral, but you can see how far that beam goes. Now, get the surefire up. So there's the scout. You can kind of see how much brighter or uh, broader the beam is how much way more peripheral you can see the corner of the building and all that stuff and the shrubs so not near as tight a hot spot the uh, throw doesn't go near as far see there's the, the streamlight but you're getting all that peripheral around it all right so hopefully by now you've got a little bit better uh, grasp of candela versus lumens um, what that translates to on the target or the threat so now you can uh, you know, make a better decision when you're trying to figure out what light to buy. If you want something that'll shoot a long distance or just have a super intense hot spot, so if you want to hit somebody in the eyes with it, something like that, um, look at those Candela. A lot of companies uh, only, you know, they only harp on the lumens, but dig down into the specs and try to find that Candela. That'll give you an idea of how bright that hot spot's going to be. Um, so if you want something that has hot spot and spill, you're going to want to find a little bit of balance between lumens and candela. So hopefully uh, you can take that and, you know, use that toward your next flashlight purchase. Uh, that way you'll know the right one to get. Anyways, if you like the video and you want to see a few more, uh, go ahead and subscribe. If not, just at least watch one more while you're here. Um, click the bell, the little notification thing. That way you know when new videos come out. I'm trying to put them out once a week uh, to help you guys out and make it a little more consistent. So click the bell, like, and do all the other cool guy stuff that helps me out.